today we're going to go around the Chamberis area and surrounding area and have a look for a few things to photograph around here. We're in Bryn Reval at the end of uh, Padden Lake and um, I think I'm going to try and get an image of the bridge behind me and the houses and uh, yeah, I'm going to bracket this shot, three shots I think on this one and maybe a soft grad in the sky. On this one I've bracketed it at five exposures just because the side of the bridge is dark. So I'm trying to pull the light out on that one. Um, right, I think I'll move on to the other end of the bridge instead of taking a forward looking image of the lake. I'm gonna try and do something else like sun was just directly overhead and the, it was just too much contrast in the image but what I wanted to do was sort of have the mountains on one side and the side of the bridge but I'll come back again and do that sometime if there was more cloud in the sky covering the sun it would probably worked but that's how it is anyway we'll head down to Chamberis now to the famous tree See if we can get an image down there. Down. Yeah, that's it, that's it. I was trying to make it home, but I didn't make it. Oh, well. That's the problem today. People everywhere. Um, I had found this shot here which I've never photographed before might have been a potential shot but somebody was here photographing and now I've got canoeists coming up there I can't take that footage uh, those guys are still photographing the tree but it's the wrong time of day really the best time to photograph that tree would be sunrise and sunset um, so once these uh, canoeists get out of the way We'll set up and see what we can get here. This one, um, I've taken like a portrait shot. Thought that would work best with the uh, with the branches coming into the side of the frame. 
yeah I used the helio pan polarizer just to take the glare off the uh, lake um, I shot this ISO 100 f16 uh, 1 40th of a second I used the branches for the side of the frame and shot it in portrait style um, hopefully it'll be okay didn't plan on doing this shot but there you go um, I've just had another idea um, I've seen this formation of rocks and this tiny little tree on the end there uh, I'm going for a big stopper on this one and I think this would be good in portrait actually in black and white I'll give it a go see what happens right with this one um, we're at f16 ISO 200 and 1 20th of a second now I'm going to put a 10 stop filter on this then we've got to calculate uh, calculate 10 stops from 1 20th of a second to give us the exposure so once these canoes get out of the way I'll take the shot Dolbadden Castle in Chamberis. Um, bit overcast. There are some clouds behind me there, so I'm not sure whether it's going to be a long exposure or just bracket three shots. I'll set up and see how it goes. Um, what I'm going to do with this shot. Is I'm going to use these walls here. All these walls here. That, they're going to lead you into the shot. And there's some good autumn colours here on the trees. So I think I'll do a bracket of five images for this one. So that's my last shot today, until next time, I've still got part 2 of the Dinorwick quarry to shoot so anyway hope you like it and please subscribe. <laughs>